Welcome back. In this video, we will learn about task deadlines, as well as how to combine deadlines with recurring tasks. In a previous video, we looked at how to set a start time for a task. You can use a start time to mark when you want to make progress on a task. But if you want to specify the date by which a task should be completed, you can use deadlines instead. Let's look at an example. In this task, I can type in a slash followed by the word deadline. And now I can say that this task should be completed by next month on the 20th. At the same time, I can set its start time to be five days before the deadline. Now I have two things. Number one, a plan for when do I want to work on this task? And number two, a reminder for when this task is actually due. Let's jump into tasks mode now and make sure my task list is grouped by start date. Now I can see my task displayed under its start date, which is great. But below the description, I can also see how many days are left until the task's deadline. On the day the task starts, it will receive a bump in task score, making it climb closer to the top of my to-do list. This will act as a reminder that I should probably start working on it. But in addition to the start date bonus, the task will also get a task score boost from its deadline. The closer the deadline, the bigger the daily increase in task score. The really cool thing about deadlines is that you can apply them to recurring tasks. So, for example, I can say that this task has an absolute deadline next Friday. Then, I can say that the start date of this task can be every day at 8 p.m. And finally, the duration can be one hour. This will make my task reappear every day in my to-do list, scheduled for 8 p.m., but the deadline will always show up as next Friday. When I combine recurring start dates with deadlines in this way, I can schedule blocks of work for tasks that I usually cannot complete in one sitting. The task itself will have a unique deadline, but I can commit to making regular progress on it in the days leading up to the deadline. You can use deadlines for specifying the hard date limit for completing something. Also, you can use deadlines together with start dates to separate when something is due versus when you would like to work on it. And finally, you can use deadlines together with recurring start dates to schedule recurring blocks of work for tasks and projects that take longer than just one sitting to complete, but must be done by a certain date. 